Christmas stocking. Video games have become a $4 billion a year business, and a great many children, as you parents know, have put them on their Christmas lists. As ABC's Bill Greenwood reports, there is a growing concern on Capitol Hill that parents who buy some of those games may not realize just how much violence they're getting. One of the most vicious games is called Mortal Kombat. The objective is to finish off your opponent violently. Another method is decapitation. Critics, including the National PTA, say such video games contribute to violence in real life. And television's Captain Kangaroo says parents are not paying enough attention. Understand that these are not harmless toys, that uh, they can indeed uh, cause great emotional and uh, other damage to a child. Congress will be asked to establish a rating system to protect children from gruesome games. We now require warning labels on toys that can potentially damage children's bodies. Why not do so on a toy that can damage their minds? Barry Rhodes bought the game anyway, since it takes a special code to activate the violent scenes, which he says are a part of life. It's there, so I'm not going to try to hide my daughter from that. Even so, the giant Sega Corporation recently introduced a voluntary system to rate video games for use by a general audience, those over 13 and over 17. But there are lots of places where youngsters can play video games without such guidance or adult supervision. So next week, the U.S. Senate will conduct hearings on ways to supervise the video industry. Bill Greenwood, ABC News, Washington. And that is our report on World News Tonight. Later on